first we have to have a little recap about beta radiation. Beta radiation is a high energy electron which has the nuclide notation minus one zero. It is a charge of negative one and when passed through an electric field would be attracted to the positive plate. It can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium. Beta decay happens when we have heavy unstable nuclei and they often decay by losing beta particles. Remember, a beta particle is an electron. The product particle which is produced from beta decay will have a mass number which will remain the same, but the atomic number of that new particle will increase by one. Example one, we have uranium-235, which is a radioisotope, which decays by beta emission. Write the balanced nuclear equation. The chemical symbol for uranium is U. It's got the atomic number 92, and the mass number is given in the question as 235. It decays or releases a beta particle, which is an electron, which has a charge of negative one and a mass of zero. We know that we need to have a balanced nuclear equation, so the top numbers on both sides of the equation need to match and the bottom numbers also need to balance. On the left hand side, the total mass number is 235. So on the right hand side, the total mass number also has to equal 235. Zero plus what equals 235, that's 235. The bottom number on the left hand side has a total of 92. So therefore on the right hand side, the total number also has to equal 92. Minus one plus what equals 92. So the particle which is produced has an atomic number of 93. If we look up element 93 in the periodic table, we find neptunium, which has the chemical symbol NP. Example two, we have polonium-211, which is a radioisotope, which decays by beta emission. Write the balanced nuclear equation. Polonium has a chemical symbol PO, it has the atomic number 84, and the mass number is given in the question as 211. It decays, therefore gives off a beta particle, which is an electron. The charge of an electron is minus one, and the mass of an electron is zero. The total mass number on the left is equal to 211, which means the total mass number on the right also has to equal 211. Zero plus what gives 211, that means the particle produced has a mass number of 211. On the left hand side, the bottom number totals 84, which means on the right hand side, we also have to have a total of 84. Minus one plus what equals 84, that means the particle produced has an atomic number of 85. If we look up element 85 in the periodic table, we find it's astatine, which has the chemical symbol AT. Example three, we have polonium-211, which is a radioisotope, which when bombarded with a neutron, decays by beta emission. Write the balanced nuclear equation. So we have polonium, which has the chemical symbol PO, the atomic number 84, and the mass number 211. It is then bombarded or hit with a neutron, which has a charge of zero and a mass of one. It releases a beta particle, which is an electron, which has a charge of minus one and a mass of zero. So the total mass on the left-hand side of the equation, we have 211 plus one, which gives us a total of 212, which means on the right-hand side, we also have to have a total of 212. Zero plus what gives 212. That means the product particle has a mass number of 212. On the reactant side, we have 84 plus zero, which gives us a total of 84, which means on the right-hand side, we also have, a, have to have a total of 84. Minus one plus what gives 84. That gives us an atomic number of 85. If we look up element 85, we have acetine, which has the chemical symbol AT. Example four, we have polonium-211, which when bombarded this time with a proton, decays by beta emission. Write the balanced nuclear equation. Polonium has the atomic number 84. It has the mass number 211. It is bombarded or hit with a proton. 
a proton has a charge of one positive and a mass of one. It decays or breaks down to release a beta particle, which is our electron. An electron has a charge of minus one and a mass of zero. The total mass number on the reactant side, we have 211 plus one, which gives us a total of 212, which means on the product side, we also have to have a mass of 212. Zero plus what gives 212, that means our reactant particle has a mass of 212. On the reactant side, we have 84 plus 1, which gives us a total of 85, which means on the product side, we also have to have a total of 85. Minus 1 plus what gives 85, that is 86. So if we look up element 86 in the periodic table, we get radon, which has the chemical symbol Rn. In this last example, we have the polonium-211, which is bombarded with an alpha particle and then decays by beta emission. So we have polonium, which has the atomic number 84 and has the mass number, which is given in the question, as 211. It is hit with an alpha particle. Remember that this is a helium nucleus. The chemical symbol for helium is HE. It's got the atomic number 2 and the mass number 4. It releases a beta particle, which is an electron, which has a charge of minus one and a mass of zero. The total mass number on the reactant side, we've got 211 plus four, which gives us a total of 215, which means on the product side, we also have to have a mass number total of 215. Zero plus what gives 215, that means the product particle has a mass of 215. On the reactant side, we have 84 plus 2, which gives us a total of 86, which means on the product side, we also have to have a total of 86. Minus 1 plus what gives 86? That means the atomic number of the particle produced is 87. When we look up element 87, we have uh, the element francium, which has the chemical symbol Fr. <laughs> This past paper questions from the National 5 specimen paper written 12C. Technetium 99 is formed when molybdenum 99 decays. The decay equation is identify x. So we have to have the same total mass number. The total mass number on the reactant side is 99, which means the total mass number on the product side also has to equal 99. 99 plus what? equals 99, that means that the mass number has to be zero. On the left hand side, that's the reactant side, we have a total of 42 on the bottom number, which means we also have to have a total of 42 on the product side. 43 plus what gives 42, that must be minus one, which means we have produced an electron, which is a beta particle. This past paper questions from the National 5 2018 written 12C. Circle the correct words to complete the sentence. When an atom emits a beta particle. So to make this easier, I would create your own equation, your balanced nuclear equation. So take any element that you want. I've taken uranium, which has the atomic number 92 and the mass number 235. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the decay of an electron, which is our beta particle. It has a charge of minus one and a mass of zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this balanced equation to be able to get the correct terms for this question. The total mass number on the left is 235, which means the total mass number on the right also has to equal 235. If I look that up um, on the question, we can see that the bottom section speaks about the mass number. So if we look at uranium and then we look at neptunium, the top number, which is the mass number, means it remains the same. On the reactant side, we have the bottom number, which has a total of 92. That's the atomic number. On the right-hand side, that means that the total also has to equal 92. Minus 1 plus what equals 92? That means that the atomic number of the reactant particle has to be 93. If I look that up, that's neptunium, which has the chemical symbol NP. 
So the question that's asking about the atomic number, we can see that it's went from 92 to 93, so therefore it has increased. This past paper question is from the National 5 2016 Multiple Choice 18. Which particle will be formed when the atom, thorium-234, emits a beta particle? So what we want to do is we want to write a balanced nuclear equation. So we have thorium, which is on the left-hand side, and it emits or gives off a beta particle, which is an electron. It has a charge of minus one and a mass of zero. Top numbers have to be the same on both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, we have a total of 234, which means on the product side, we also have to have a total of 234. Zero plus watt gives 234. That means that our reacting particle has to have a mass of 234. So the only potential answers that we can have at the moment are A and C. The bottom numbers also have to match. On the left-hand side, we have a total of 90, which means on the right-hand side, we also have to have a total of 90. Minus 1 plus watt equals 90. That gives us an atomic number of 91, which means the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer A. Thank you.